So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and type in Windows Defender Firewall. Click on it. Now once you're on this, we're going to click on Advanced Settings. And then we're going to click on Inbound Rules. And then click on New Rule. Now we're going to select Port and click on Next. Select UDP. And then in this box right here, we're going to type in 49152-65535. Click on Next. Click on Next again. Click on Next again. And then just type in Fortnite as a name. And then click on Finish. Now for the second step, you want to head over to Search and type in View Network Connections. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on your Network Adapter. And then click on Properties. And then click on Internet Protocol Version 4. And now you want to make sure that user default DNS server just has been selected. You want to make the first line 8888. And you want to make the second line 8844. And then click on OK. Now for the next step, you want to head over to Epic Games. And then you want to click on your profile on the top right. And then click on Settings. Now you want to scroll down to the very bottom. And then you want to expand Fortnite. You want to make sure that additional command line arguments has been ticked. And now you want to type in dash LAN play space dash no IPv6 space dash limit client ticks. Now for the last step, we're going to head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Now once you're on this, we're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS and click on enter. Then we're going to type in netsh space windsock space reset and click on enter again. Now once you complete the steps in the video, you need to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.